this is what happens. And look at it. I turn off. Nothing. If I kick start, it starts. Okay, I kick started, gave some gas, and it goes back to normal. Look. And I get I give gas. Look. Now it comes back to normal. Look, nothing again. Found the brand, I mean the old, with a whole bunch of fuses. 10 amps, 5 amps, 20 amps, 30 amps, woo, 30 amps. I think that's a little too much. Maybe 20 amps. Yeah, that should be good. Or 15 amps. Uh, 25 amps. Let's see what we have. Uh, we go with that. All right. Yeah. Hey, good thing I saved it. So, uh, we went to Walmart. We found this uh, Buzzman filter adapter, uh, inline fuse holder. It cost me uh, $3.97. Well, it didn't come with the fuse, and it's supposed to hold up to 30 amp. So, yeah, this should be good. All we're gonna need is probably up to what uh, 20 amp max. But anyway, yeah, for less than four dollars, we're gonna work on it. All right, there's a little follow up on uh, changing out fuse I finished it up uh, basically between here and here was where the old uh, glass tube fuse was so we got this with a 20 amp fuse and I just cut the wires here and here this goes to the positive right here so I just cut them off uh, took this little module with the wires, wrapped them around each other, and electric taped it, and they're secure, they're not coming out, as long as you tape them well, or if you have any other method of clamping two wires together, that'll work. Just make sure, keep them somewhat water resistant, which electrical tape should do. Uh, that way, when I cut the wires, I still have the plug here, so I don't have to redo any of that, just plug back in. And it's a good fuse. This one I got a little LED on, so I'll know if it blows. And it's really just tuck it back in. I'll just find anywhere to tuck it in. And I'll just put the fender back here. And I know my dad took a video of the light when I turned it on with the previous fuse. So there's a light from there. It's not, it's not stutter, not stuttering anymore. And the high beam. There's a little bit, but that's just because of the, that's just how the bike is. But it's way better than before, not as bad. hardly tell the difference between revving and idling now compared to when it was idling before it was like flashing and when you revved it only became stable at that point so yeah that's how we fixed it just a simple little wire job cut off two wires put a new fuse module in and you're good to go